Hello guys, Crisp here and welcome back to another video. Today my friends I'm going to be testing the RX 560 in Watch Dogs Legion. This one as you can see right there is the 4GB model of this card. I'm not sure how the 2GB model will perform in this one, so just uh, yeah. I'm also running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM. The Ryzen 7 is overkill for an RX 560, I know, but you should expect the same FPS coming from a Ryzen 3 3100. And we're of course running the latest AMD drivers, Adrenaline 2020 20.10.1 this one is the sapphire pulse edition of the card let's get right into it going over the settings i am going to be playing this one at 1080p 900p and 720p starting off at 1080p of course i'm going to be using 80 fov over here because i feel like 70 is a little bit too claustrophobic and over here in the quality settings directx 12 is selected because it actually gives you a smoother gameplay experience aside from the water bug but well they should probably fix that and I'm gonna be using the low settings throughout this video so as you can see this is the low settings preset uh, so here we are in London and uh, it's raining right now as you can probably tell I'm gonna start counting wait a second I'm gonna mark that most demanding area first in the map and now I'm gonna start counting our FPS so, oh my god what the hell was that <laughs> okay everything is fine let's just uh, grab this car right here all right this one has no drivers so absolutely fine everything's great and as you can see the game is quite playable or at least it appears to be playable from what we are seeing right here uh, let's go this way uh, oh my gosh i'm screwing everything up okay 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 yeah people just just move out of the way these don't even care uh no no okay let's go here we go guys, oh boy, we are near water so our FPS are dropping really, really a lot, like what the heck is this? Uh, okay, well, this is going perfect, isn't it? Okay, this one has a driver, but uh, it should be fine, everything's okay. Near water, things become really, really demanding, as I was saying. It appears to be a bug right now with DirectX 12, I'm not sure if it's fixed for DirectX 11, but... Uh, yeah, the water is just extremely demanding in this game for no apparent good reason, because it doesn't even look good, to be honest. But yeah, let's just go now. I have found a more demanding area than the river area. It's this park over here, which has a lake. And as you can see, FPS are dropping dramatically. 25, 26... Ah, this is absolutely awful. 22, 21 there. So over here with the 1050 Ti, we saw like 24. So the 560 is not too far behind of the 1050 Ti, which is always amazing to see because at launch, the 1050 Ti was like, what, 15% faster, 20% faster than this one sometimes. And now the 560 can actually match it sometimes. But yeah, you can see that uh, at least until they fix those water issues, uh, you're gonna drop into the low 20s and even like flat 20 FPS there on the 1% low so it's really bad guys it's not really playable if they don't fix it and uh, yeah that's why I'm gonna test 900p and 720p as well because uh, we want to see if it's possible to get 60 plus or, or at least like 30 plus FPS of course all of the time I'm not even aiming for 60 plus because the 1050 Ti couldn't really do it even at 720p that said uh, um, aside from that bug, it runs pretty well. Like, uh, the gameplay overall is smooth, it's above 30 FPS when you're driving through the city with all of the details and stuff like that. It's only near the water that it will drop. Uh, we got 33 FPS average there because of those uh, lake areas and a uh, river and stuff like that. So that's really bad, 1% lows right there. But I'm gonna set it now to 900p. 1600 by 900 resolution, same ATFOV, same low settings across the board of course. Let's see if this is a smoother experience uh, hopefully it's gonna be above 30 all of the time that's what I really want to see coming from the 560 not too sure about the water things but yeah uh, 40s 40s is great oh so sorry there okay <laughs> oh my gosh this always happens in my videos I am a horrible driver in watchdogs my friends but it, it seems like the 560 is actually performing pretty well here at 900p in the 40s. I believe the 1050 Ti was in the 50s, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this is not bad at all. This is still a very playable experience. That's the second time it, this happened, guys. Like, what the hell? I want to see why this happens. It's just, just that little thing over there. Okay, okay. All right. 
I'm not complaining about this game's physics, it's set in the future, I believe, so maybe things in the future will be that way. Near the river, we are getting 33 there, not too bad. I'm gonna cross the bridge just to see if it's more demanding. 28 there, 27, not really good, okay, so it's still not a 30 plus FPS experience. Uh, at least until they fix this. I'm not sure why this happens. At night, you actually get pretty decent FPS, it doesn't drop near water. I believe it's the reflections that cause that, so... Yeah, just keep that in mind. I don't know, I don't know. They should probably fix it. I think they are aware of the issue, so... That's okay. But let's go to that park and lake area right now. I want to see our frames there because it's more demanding than the actual river. And uh, yeah, people were actually telling me that the river was the most demanding place. But nope, I found that lake over there, which is more demanding than this. But as you can see, if you're, if you're just playing the game, uh, driving through the city and doing some missions here and there, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be perfectly playable here, okay? So, I believe this is it. Yes, it is. And, uh, okay. Let's see. Oh boy, 26, 27. It's pretty much the same as the river area. But now, crossing this little bridge is where it becomes really, really stressful for the GPU. Uh, eh, it's not too bad, actually. Okay, 27, 26. Like, yeah, it's pretty much the same as the river, actually, at least at 900p, so not too bad again, but uh, it does drop from 30 FPS because of a bug. And now we're playing at 1280 by 720 or 720p resolution, 80 FOV, quality settings still the same, of course, low settings. Here we go. Uh, Alright, we're much closer to 60 right now. Oh no, oh no, I, I need to destroy that thing. Oh, come on, okay. This is gonna be bad, this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna start counting our FPS. Sorry, people, I'm so sorry. Alright, okay, all good. Oh my gosh, how are these drones so fast? I, I don't really know much about drones, to be honest, guys, but yeah, I, I'm not sure if they should be that fast, like comparable to a car. It's weird to me, at least that someone that doesn't understand anything about drones. So, well, river here, at our right, and, oh gosh, yep, let me just look, okay, we're just gonna run over people. Anyways, let's see our FPS here, 30 something, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm just wrecking my car completely. And the drone just, um, he gave up, it's not too bad because we're not in the sidewalk, I'm, god damn it, I need to drive it in the left, jeez, I always forget that. Oh my gosh, alright, so let's see our frames, so even with the water bug, it doesn't seem to drop from 30 FPS now at 720p. This is great, okay, so you can actually play this game, it's playable even with the water bug. You know what, can I actually wreck the car somewhere and explode it like this? Nope, okay, I can't. Alright, let's try to explode this. Oh, oh, okay, let's see the explosion, come on, come on. Nice, there we go, I almost died there. <laughs> <laughs> but at least we saw an underwhelming explosion. That was great. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this police car. It's not too bad, guys, at 720p. It still dropped into the 40s at times, but uh, it doesn't look too bad, especially if you're running a smaller monitor, you know, like a 768p monitor or a 900p monitor, or also a 21.5 or 22-inch 1080p. That should be absolutely fine. Oh, god damn it. Okay, let's go. Oh. So, oh, 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 all right, there we go, there we go, uh, so crossing the bridge here, 37, 36, 35, yep, pretty much the same thing as we saw in the bridge, 34 there, uh, not bad, it's playable, it's a console-like experience, I imagine, like, the Xbox One or the PS4 will probably run this game at 720p, I have no idea about the consoles, but, Yep, so far, so good. It's a good experience here. You can definitely play this game. Still manages to look decent. All right, it's all good, guys. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informative for you. Let me know if you are going to pick up Watch Dogs Legions with the 560. Keep in mind, you will need like an 8-threaded CPU if you want to play this game properly because it's also very CPU demanding. 
and uh, you'll also need at least 12 gigs of RAM. I'll hopefully catch you guys in the next one very soon, and as always, love you all. Bye-bye.